This is a tutorial for quick access to ERAD PACS Diagnostic Imaging of Salem. I've already logged into the system and I'm in its patient list here. Short patient list because I'm only displaying test data. As you see I have a date range of anything within two weeks and I've set my patient name filter to only show this test patient. And the status I have filtered from unview all the way through final. This is probably going to be the best bet for uh, a referring office in that anything before the unviewed step could mean that the technologist has not even completed the exam and with the ordered status you're going to see all of the future ordered exams in the system and that just kind of makes a cluttered list. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this combined so that I keep my other filters in here. If I'd applied that alone, it would have shown me every patient in the system with that status. So if I come in and I just want to look for a patient's images, I want to see, I've got my criteria up here. I'm going to look for a last of test and a first of PS3, because I know, you know the name at least begins with that. And that's what I'm on, is begins. The other option up here is is. Is is basically an equal to, so whatever you type is exactly what it's going to look for. And it's kind of difficult usually to search by. So I usually like to use begins or maybe even contains if I'm not really sure. You know, I want to look for anybody that has test anywhere in their last name and PS3 anywhere in the first name. Um, you know, that's not going to look for it just at the beginning or just at the end. It's going to look for that anywhere in there. So I'm going to go back to begins. The bottom row here is just the opposite. So this is not this is does not begin with and this one is does not contain I haven't really found any need for those in a system I don't know why you would want to search by those make a a large hard to get through list so if I'm only interested in this patient I just want to see the exams for that I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply alone now apply alone wipes out any of the other filters I have. If you see our status filter is gone, our date filter is gone. I'm looking for just any patient that goes under that name criteria. Now I found the patient I want. I can either come over here and quick view, which is the four square icon, and take a look at that. I'm gonna make sure actually I'm on one that's got some images. I'm gonna quick view the CT. So I'm in the quick view. As you see, it's kind of an ugly view a little bit. It shows you all of the images broken out into, I'm sorry, the series broken out into individual images. Now, I can go down here and I can say I want to open the series. Or even better, I can go up here to the top and I can say open this study. It's going to open up into the zero footprint, no download uh, viewer. And as you see, I come into an area where now I see all the different series. And I'm going to go ahead and open this one over here. Now this comes down, I can scroll through the images. I'm using my mouse wheel just to get through the series. And if I want, I can come back up here to this report icon, click that, and it's gonna bring a copy of the report out the side. Of course, test report, there's not much in there to see. Um, but you would have a full report come out down the side that you, know, you could use to reference along with the images if you'd like. That report is gonna stay there until I click this button again. Um, even if I go back, out to the thumbnail view and you see the report stays there. So I'm going to click that to get that out of my way. Right, let's go back into this series. Now I'm using the Chrome browser. It does seem to work best in Chrome, but it will work with any browser. It works with iPhone, iPad, Android phone, Android tablet, um, Chromebook, you know, basically just about anything with a browser can access this um, quick view. So if I want to do some window leveling, I can right click drag my mouse around, do some window leveling. If I left click, I'm going to uh, move the image around. I can click right and left buttons. I am going to zoom in and out on the image. Now if you require much more um, functionality than the few things we can do in here, you might want to consider downloading the viewer. And the link to that is right on the uh, top of the page. We'll see when we go back here. So I'm going to exit out of this series, and I'm done in here. So I'm going to hit the X again. It'll take me back to the quick view list. And here we have the download viewer right there. That's going to require some admin rights on your PC, but it'll give you uh, a lot more. You can do annotations and measurements and such in there. 
So on this, I have a back to list. So usually the back to list is your best bet. You can hit the back arrow, and usually it's fine, but sometimes you'll find that I had that filtered list by just that test patient. By hitting the back arrow, sometimes you'll end up back at your default list. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit back to list. So we go back to this patient in here. So another way that I can view the report and a little better way for printing the report is by clicking on the final link there on that main page. So it brings me into a, a little easier to read, larger view of the report. And if I wanna print it off, I can hit this printer friendly button and it brings up a printer friendly web page that I can just right click and hit print from here and print that off. If I were to hit print from here you would end up, because it's a web page, you would end up with the logos, the toolbars, you would everything and it doesn't make exactly the best looking report. So I'm going to head back to list again because I've got that button there and uh, it's just a quick overview of how to find things in the ERAD system. If you would like to get a little more detail on things, you can go ahead and look at the 15 minute tutorial video. It gets a little more in depth on what each icon is and how to change your views and save views and such. So uh, thanks for viewing.